Assalamu alaikum dear student hope you, you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEPS home school I am Belan Hoshin assistant teacher of mathematics of national ideal English version school day shift student look today our topic is 9.8 9.8 exercise 2 page down 120 and CBQ CBQ 1 9.8 exercise 2 page 120 CBQ 1 lecture norm 17 age zero norm 8 student look this is CBQ 1 this CBQ 1 is uh, created using the information of 9.8 exercise 2 okay from this chapter this cbq question will has been created okay student okay so let's at first read the questions look cbq 1 1 0 0.3 0 0.15 and 0 0.008 are some decimals number 2, 3 by 10, 27 by 100 and 341 by 1000 are some fractions. Ok student, this is the stamp. Up to this, this is the stamp. Ok, 1 and 2, this is the stamp. Now, see question number 1. How many 0.001s are combined to make 0.031 okay student student you see this question uh, is included in your book page number 120 uh, question number 2 okay and now b express 1 as fractions that means you see student you see 1 0 0.3 0 0.15 and 0 0.008 are some decimals number okay these are the some decimals number now we have to make it as a fractions see number express 2 as decimals you see 2 number 3 by 10 27 by 100 341 by 1000 these are the fractions okay student now we have to make it into decimals okay let's solve at first write solution a number write 0 0.031 division 0 0.001 student you see after point how many digits here 3 digits and you see after point how many digits also here three digits so you may write the answer only 31 or you may write uh, explain okay like this way look 31 this is now 31 you see four point we have to take here one for zero for zero for three zero and for one zero division division 1, 1, you know, for point you take here 1 and for other number write here 0. Okay? That means 31 by 1000. This is division, so you have to write here multiplication and make it into inverse. That means 1000 is numerator, will, uh, will be numerator and 1 will be denominator. Okay. Now see this is 1000 and this is 1000 so we can reduce then we get what 31 ok therefore we have to write therefore write 31 0 0.001 31 0 0.001 are 
are combined combined to make zero point zero three one. Okay, student. That means our answer is only thirty one. Right answer. Answer thirty one. Now I will solve B number. Express one as fractions. Express one as fractions. You see one, one, zero point three, zero point one five, and zero point zero zero eight are some decimals number. Now we have to convert this into fractions. Look, given the. Decimals are zero point three, zero point one five, and zero zero point zero zero eight. Okay. Given the decimals are this. 0.3, 0.15, and 0.008. Now we have to convert this into as fractions, right? Here, 0.3. This is equal to what? 3. For point, we write here 1. For digit, write here 0. That means. 0.3 equal to 3 by 10. Then 0.15 is equal to what? That means 1.5 for point right here 1 for 1 right here 0 for 5 right here 0. Now we have to reduce this. Look between. Fifteen and hundred, we can reduce this by five. Okay, if you divide fifteen by five, then we get three. Similarly, similarly divide hundred by five, then you get twenty. This is equal to what? Three by twenty. Okay, student. Look, we have to divide fifteen by five, then we get three. Similarly, divide hundred by Five, then we we'll get twenty. Okay, because moreover uh, uh, between fifteen and hundred, uh, five is the common factor. Okay, so if we divide fifteen by five, then we we'll get three, and hundred by five, then we we'll get twenty. That means we got three by twenty. Next. Right here, zero point zero zero eight. Zero point zero zero eight. This is equal to what? Eight per point. Right here, one per zero zero and zero. Now it comes eight by one thousand. Okay. If you divide this by two, then you get. Four. If you divide this by two, then we get what? Five hundred. Okay. Now, if you divide four by four, then we get what? One. And if you divide five hundred by four, then we get look. It was five hundred by four. Four ones are four. Ten. Four two are. Eight two zero. Now four five sir twenty. Okay, this is the rough. Then we get what? If we divide four by four, then we get one. If we divide hundred by four, then we get one hundred twenty five. This is equal to what? One by one hundred twenty five. Okay, student. Student, this is the rough. Now write. Therefore, the required 
the required the required fractions fractions are 3 by 10 3 by 20 and 1 by 125 okay student Friend, I hope you understood. Now I will solve question number three. Okay, again see the question. Express two as decimals. That means two means three by ten, twenty-seven by hundred, and three hundred forty-one by one thousand. We have to make this as decimals. Okay. Now write here C. C number given. The fractions given the fractions are three by ten, comma twenty seven by hundred and three hundred forty one by one thousand. Should look. Given the fractions are 3 by 10, comma, 27 by 100, 341 by 1000. This is a, these are the fractions. Now we have to convert this into decimals. Okay, right here. Here, yeah. 3 by 10 is equal to what? Student, look here, 0 0.1. That means here how many zeros? Only one zeros. Okay, so you have to put the point after one digit from right to left. That means three point zero. Okay. Then what? Twenty-seven by hundred. Similarly, same case. You see how many zeros here? One, two. One, two. Okay. Right here at first 27. Then look 1, 2. That means here how many zeros? 2, 0. Okay, so you have to put the point after 2 digit and remember from right to left. 1, 2. That means this is. And 341 by 1000. This is equal to what you see again. All are same. 1, 2. 2, 3. That means how many zeros? 3 zeros. So put the point after 3 digits. And remember, we have to put the point from right to left. That means 341, 1, 2, 3. Okay? 0 0.341. These are the decimal. Okay? Therefore, write the required. decimals number are the required decimals number are 0 0.3 0 0.27 0 0.341 is friend this is your required result. Just remember, if you write here record or record, then no need to write the answer. Okay? Okay, student, I hope you understood today's topic. Now I will talk with you about HW topic. Look, HW H. EMB page, that means elementary mathematics book, elementary mathematics book, page number 102, that means this book. Okay? Elementary mathematics book. Page 120, question number 7. Question number 7. Okay. In question number 7, there are two sub number. Okay. So, for your understanding, I have written the answer. Okay. Question number 7, sub number 1 answer will be 5.310 and two number 0 0.135. Okay. 
Okay, dear student, I hope you understood today's topic. Dear student, you have to submit this AW copy on every Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you collect this AW copy on next Saturday. Dear student, no more today. You keep practicing at home. Stay safe, stay well. See you again.